Welcome to I Tai Chi for Life. Today we're going to learn Repulse Monkey, which is a really fun move. So first, watch me. We just finished playing the loop. So we're here, resting on our heel in an empty stance on that left foot. Watch me. So first, let's just take a look at the stepping. So again, we end right here, having played the lute. And we're just going to drop our hands right now and do backwards Tai Chi stepping. So this would be the first part. So we take our empty foot and we swing it back and step on the ball of our foot, stepping back. And as we step back, the front foot becomes empty. In which case, since we're going to be turning our dantian with this movement, when we turn our dantian, it kicks our heel out. So it's just that movement. So here's your dantian. It's going to turn toward the back corner, and our front foot rotates on the ball of the foot. Then we step back. And you can see how awkward that front foot is. So again, as we turn our dantian, the toe pivots our heel out. So I'm, I'm exaggerating it a little bit. And then we step back and turn, pivoting. And one more, stepping back, turn, and pivoting. So Let's try it again. I'm going to try it from a front view. I don't have much room in terms of video space, but let's see if we can do that. So we're on our left heel. And you step back, turn that dantian, pivot on the ball of your foot. Let's try one more. You step back, turn your dantian, pivot on the front foot. All right. Let's try it together, shall we? So your left foot is in front, just resting on the heel. We've got finished playing the loop. We're only going to do the stepping. So step back with your left foot on the ball of your, landing on the ball of your foot. Weight shift back, turn the dantian, turn your heel. By the time you turn your heel, it's just facing straight forward, your foot. Step back, turn the dantian, pivot on the ball of your foot. Good. Step back, turn the dantian, pivot on the ball of your foot. And one more. Step back, pivot, and turn. try that one more time and that'll be the end of this first lesson for Repulse Monkey. So we're here, we just finished playing the lute, dropping your hands, just working on the feet. Step back, turn the dantian, pivot on the ball of your front foot. Step back, pivot. Step back, Pivot, step back, and pivot. I feel like you want to practice that one more time. Of course, you can go back and rewind. Huh, that's an old terminology. Go back and review the video and practice some more, which I would suggest until you feel really comfortable with this. Step back, that left foot. Rotate your dantian towards the left and your front foot pivots on the ball of your foot. Step back with your right foot, weight shift, pivot your dantian, 
pivot on the ball of your foot. I'm just putting this here so you can see what the Dantian is doing. If you want to put your hands here, you can. Step back. Step back. And we finish by bringing the toe closer to the right foot. So there's a four repetitions of it. So I like for you to be aware of the Dantian during this move. It's a wonderful um, move to enhance your awareness that the Dantian is directing the energy. So um, I tell my students to think of having a flashlight strapped to their Dantian and we're in a dark room and we're just scanning from left to right in about 45 degree um, field. So if you think of that during this stepping for Repulse the Monkey, you'll become more aware of your Dantian and how it's driving the energy that you're generating through the feet. So let's try it one more time together. Here we are, we just finished playing the loop. Now think of that flashlight on your Dantian. Right now it's straight forward. Stepping back, and your flashlight's now going to scan the room to the back corner. Step back, now it's going to scan the room to the other corner. And if you just think of that, your feet are going to do what they need to do. 